we are on location in my hometown of Noosa. And what better way to show off a town's identity than to hit the farmer's market? Let's go and check it out. Now I think when we start talking about market foods classics, it's very hard to go past a good old bacon and egg roll. And I guess the biggest thing about this one is we're gonna highlight the Noosa produce. We've got some fantastic voodoo bacon, the uh, buffalo halloumi, obviously some free range eggs, some spinach, some chimfada, some relish, all the goodies that go into a classic bacon and egg roll. And it's all from the Noosa farmer's market. Okay, so got a nice pan. Just go in with a little hit of the oil. Now this bacon is unbelievable. As soon as this stuff hits the pan, the smell that comes off that is next level. It is the top quality gear. So we'll get that in there, let that sizzle away. Should be enough for one bacon egg roll. So we've just got some beautiful ciabatta loaves here. Now, I'm a massive fan of using these as your bacon and egg roll. They're not too bready, so nice and crispy on the outside, really fluffy on the inside. So basically just acts as a vehicle to hold everything together. That's what you want. The next one that is an absolute iconic ingredient of Noosa at the farmer's market is the buffalo halloumi. Anyone that's been here who's tried this stuff says that it's the bee's knees. It is absolutely lush. It hasn't got that squeaky texture like you think of when you think of halloumi. It's beautiful and soft. And when it hits the pan, a little bit of color on it, it will take this bacon and egg roll to another planet. So this is starting to crisp up. Just gonna flip these. Look at that, voodoo bacon, smell that. Unbelievable, super smoky. So I'm just gonna give that about a minute on that side, get the same sort of color. All right, so we've got a nice nice little stack of bacon happening over here. All that beautiful fat that's come out of the bacon, it's rendered out. Before I give it away to the eggs and the halloumi, I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. And then when I put that in later at the end, that's gonna toast up, keeping all of the flavor in there so you don't miss out. Now, halloumi, like I was saying, this stuff is so beautiful and delicate. It's started to, to crumble up already. That's just gonna take a minute or two on either side just to get a little bit of color. And while that's going on, a couple of free range eggs. Now, Noosa Red's absolutely famous. So, you know, you might look at this and go, geez, that's some really simple ingredients, but that's what it's all about. Keeping it simple, finding some absolute crackers and putting them together, and it's really hard to beat. So, here we go. Just gonna slice them up. Not gonna do anything to them. They are so juicy. And of course, Sue's smoky tomato and onion relish. I mean, bacon and egg roll has got to have a relish. All right, I'm gonna take that halloumi out ever so gently. Now, a little bit of the spinach, hit it in the pan. There's enough oil in there, so we just wanna break it down, relax it. It's just gonna make it a lot easy to work with when you've got it in that roll. That's already starting to wilt, so we're getting very, very close now. There we go, done. Okay, so like I said, we've mopped up any of that fat that we've rendered out of the bacon into a nice hot pan. Knock a bit of the air out of it, flatten it, because like I was saying, you just want to use that as a vehicle to bring all this together, be able to manhandle it, bacon and egg roll in one hand, coffee in the other, or one of those green smoothies, go for a roam around the market, find some inspiration, get a trolley full of fresh produce and go home, cook up a storm. All right, look at that. You've got some beautiful toasted fresh ciabatta straight from the market. The relish is a real impact player. You have to absolutely have one when you're making a roll like this. This one's got a little hit of chili in it, which is always close by whenever I'm around. So a nice little layer of the tomato chili relish on there. All right, on with the spinach that we just really, really gently wilted down over the top. Eggs, all right, slide them on. Now the halloumi, this when you pull it together. The creaminess from the halloumi, freshness from these beautiful Noosa Reds, and I can just say Noosa Reds, because when I say Noosa Reds, everyone knows what I'm talking about, the tomatoes. Bacon, get a nice little stack of that happening over the top. Lid it, rip it. Now all I need, green smoothie, active wear, and go for a little wander around the market.